this is from an eBay listing right here. You can actually see that they put in the entire chemical breakdown of it. Well, it took me less than seven minutes to find out the exact meteorite they copied it from. It is a 61 gram Antarctic lunar. Oh. And it matches their chemistry identically. When I asked what lab performed the test, they discontinued uh, any communication. <clears throat> so the meteorological bulletin is a good place that, that contains all the scientific information and all the chain of authenticity information. Now, people ask me sometimes, why do I bust on scammers? And this is, this is another prepared official release answering a lot of questions on, on the YouTube channel. Uh, comments. Why do I bust on scammers? Well, first, I hate seeing people getting ripped off and being made a fool of. <clears throat> Imagine if you were really super proud of the meteorite and you showed it off to a bunch of friends for a year and you found it wasn't a meteorite. You, you feel like a punk. I don't want anyone to feel that way. And I hate seeing people profit from fraud. I hate to see um, buyers actually miss out on the chance of buying a, a real meteorite. And yes, possibly for me, if that's greedy, that's me. Uh, I am not controlling or attempting to control the global meteorite in, uh, inventory. I am not that powerful. <laughs> uh, the knowledge bolide has not bolided that much yet. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to ID fakes. Now, um, after, and another reason why we bust on uh, scammers is because it's fun. Let's face it, after hours and hours, we're science, we're science driven men and we dig through science for hours and hours and hours. And every once in a while, we get a chance to uh, come across someone who claims they have Apollo uh, 17 return samples. I mean, that's just funny. And you, you got to <laughs> bust on that, you know? Um, but I always keep it on topic and they try to, take it personal that's what really offends me the most is when they call me out by saying by busting on the scammers i'm showing my greed well i've spent more than 400 hours in the past year hosting these hangouts oh. i'm not doing live sales when i'm doing these i'm not selling meteorites when i'm doing these i'm educating and i'm building a community um during the hangouts i don't sell anything I plug and give shout outs to other companies 10 times more than I mentioned my own company. I do it at the intro and maybe once it slips out. Um, so now people also say that, uh, you know, that everyone else out there is my competition. And I just want to squash that because I don't really have competition. Uh, I don't do this for my living. I, I don't. Um, and nobody can have everything. And everyone partners and helps each other. Today, Chris was cutting my Zarev. Last week, Ron was stabilizing my irons. Next week, someone else is going to be doing something else for it. And, and you know, that's just because we are, we're all friends and we all share the same crazy passion for an obsession, you know? So, any comments about that? You, uh, I don't know of any meteorite dealers that don't recommend other meteorite dealers for things they don't have or where they can help you out in any way. It's a very, very friendly community. Yeah, I've had that a number of times where I've talked to somebody and he's like, I don't have it, but talk to so-and-so because he's the one that, you know, he yeah. still has it or he had the main part of whatever. Um, yeah, I sold out, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, there, there's lots of times when we can't afford to purchase something all ourselves. So we go in and we partner on things. And that's why you see co-main mass holders. That's a partnership. That's, that's not competition. That's unity. That's, that's what we are. That's what the community is about. And that's what we've been building here together. So I just, I just wanted to take a little chance. Maybe it might be viewed as a rant and standing on my soapbox and I apologize for taking so much time but it's it, it just I, I'm tired of, of answering all the questions and comments so I'm just starting to delete them and move on with my more important and happier life <laughs>
Okay, to properly report an item to eBay, here is how you do it. You choose the item that you, we obviously know this is fake. So you scroll down over to here where it says report item. You select copyright and trademark. Then you select counterfeit item. Then you select fake item. Continue. You only have 100 characters, so you don't have much room. So I write, this is not a real, real meteorite. Please end this listing. I'm a meteorite specialist. This is fake. You could change out whatever text you want. If you're not a meteorite specialist, you can say I'm a, I'm a avid meteorite collector, as long as it fits the words. There you go. You've now submitted a report for that item. Now I'm going to show you how to report the seller. The first thing to do when reporting the seller is you copy their name, go into help, and search for report a seller. Click report a seller. The seller has violated one of eBay's policies. You put the seller's name in here. Other. And then I have something that I need to cut and paste. Now, now that I've grabbed my cut and paste, I put that in there and it basically says that this seller is committing fraud and they give you a lot of room here, which is nice. So the seller is committing fraud by stating he's selling meteorites. They're plain earth rocks. I assure you there's zero chance that they are real. And uh, please end all his meteorite listings. I'm not trying to ruin him as a person. If he wants to sell, you know, Pokemon collector cards, he can do that. Just stay out of the meteorite game because you suck at it. Um, and he's been told this for years. I'm not the first one telling him this. He, everyone in the UK hates this guy. Um, so I basically say I'm an internationally trusted meteorite educator, which I am. I'm talking to you, not everyone else. And uh, I basically give my credentials. So I give them some compelling reason to end the listing and you hit suspend and they've received my report on him. So that is how you report an item on eBay and report a seller on eBay and how you use scientific data and logic and his very, very piss poor quality photos to come to the conclusion that this guy is a fraudulent scammer and you should not buy anything from him. You should report him to eBay at once. This is Topher trying to keep the meteorite world safe. Have fun, everyone, and thanks for watching.